In this video, I'm getting rid of all of these tripods. If only it were that easy. It's a pretty common occurrence that I come up to my studio to read, to write, to play guitar, or just perform general studio tasks. This is the space I rely on to facilitate my creative process. But since moving into this new space, it's not completely organized yet. In fact, it's still pretty distracting to work in here. One of the biggest distractors is the cluttered floor space. I literally have to navigate the nasty Nick obstacle course just to get from the door to this seat, climbing over tripods, camera and lighting gear, a guitar case or two, and it's like three feet away. Something has to change. So let's get designing. Sometimes whipping out the old Crayolas just really make that creativity flow. One of my favorite things about creating is pulling from different disciplines and mediums for inspiration. This is a home studio where largely musical things happen, but alongside of that comes video production and even woodworking or just general building tasks. So as with most of my home studio projects, I need this system to be as versatile and multifunctional as possible. I came up with a few design ideas, a couple of which I'll quickly sketch out here, all of which probably would have worked, but I ultimately ended up with this strut track system because I felt it had the least design, fabrication, and construction challenges to overcome. This is how I built it. All right, I'm gonna do a small scale mock-up in order to test the design and to show you the details of the construction. I've already done this a few times, made a few tweaks and a couple trips to the hardware store. By now, what you see here will be the final design that you'll see mounted to my ceiling. Come on. The key to this design is the interface between these strut channels and the trolley. When configured correctly, this will allow me to slide this system across my entire space without interference. I decided to go with these strut channels for a few reasons. First, they're easily available and can be found in the electrical aisle of your local hardware store. Second, they make all the accessories you need so that you don't have to fabricate anything to make this work. By the way, everything you see here can be found at your local hardware store with the exception of these two pieces, the trolley, and the trolley hanging bracket, which can be found on Amazon and I'll link them down in the description below. Lastly, it's scalable, meaning that the construction remains pretty much the same regardless of your room size to a certain extent. <laughs> Aside from cutting the strut channel and threaded rod down to length, there are only three other modifications necessary to make this work. The first modification we're going to do is thread this hole of the trolley so that we can put an adjustment knob to lock the trolley in place. This hole is 5 16 of an inch, so I'm going to use an 18 TPI tap to thread this hole. The second modification we're going to do is to add these plastic fasteners into the ends of the wheel. Please excuse this interruption from future me, but this modification is actually unnecessary. It created too tight a tolerance and kept binding as I slid these trolleys back and forth. So probably my favorite design innovation in this entire project has to go. The last mod is drilling a hole through the small section of channel in order to allow the adjustment screw to pass through into the trolley. I'll explain this in further detail in a minute. So construction begins by mounting a section of channel in the ceiling stud. I'm going to do this with two lag bolts. From there, I'm going to insert the spring nut and then my threaded rod. Cap that off with a square washer and a nut. Then I'm going to insert the trolley hanging bracket and cap it off with the same square nut and washer. Now that the trolley bracket's in place, I'm going to insert the main strut channel that the trolley will ride in. At this point, you may be asking why the trolley simply can't run in the strut attached to the ceiling. And that's because I have two obstructions on my ceiling. The first one is a light fixture in the center of the room. And secondly, I'm going to be adding acoustic panels. So I had to place this gap so that this can slide freely across my entire space. Lastly, the main strut will be secured in place by this bolt. 
This completes the assembly of the track system. Now I'm gonna focus on the assembly of the trolley. First, I'm gonna attach that short section of strut that I mentioned earlier with the hole down the center. It's gonna attach on the bottom with the U facing downward, and I'm gonna use two bolts to attach it. If you use a quarter 20 bolt, the hex head will be retained in the trolley without spinning. Next, I'm gonna insert the strut pipe clamp into this channel, and this is gonna hold the one inch pipe going across the room. For this mock-up, I'm gonna be using a short piece of dowel, but when I assemble it, this is gonna be an eight foot long piece of metal pipe. All right, lastly, I'm gonna put the adjustment knob in through the bottom. Then once installed, I'm gonna epoxy this wooden washer that I made to push against the top of the strut. This will lock it in place very securely. Then once the trolley's installed, I'm gonna use these clamps and articulating arms to mount my lights and camera gear. Excuse the mess. I'll admit this is a bit ad hoc, but it's gonna get me filming without a tripod. So I'm gonna hang it from this clamp and articulating arm, but I need to adapt this quarter 20 mount to a 3 8 mount. So I'm gonna screw this on. Then I'm gonna take a section of the 3 8 threaded rod that I used to mount the system up to the ceiling, and I'm gonna insert that into the adapter. The reason I need to adapt to a 3 8 is because this ball head only mounts to a 3 8 If you have one that mounts to a quarter 20, you could go straight into this, although I found that I'm gonna need this extra length. So you'll have to come up with your own configuration in order to get the shot that you want. This is gonna be perfect for overhead shots. Basically what I'm using the camera for right now. All three tripods, gone. There are a couple bonus features that I'm really excited about this system. First, I can hang a gobo or a freestanding acoustic panel from the beams. These are typically on wheels and can be rolled around the space, but in this case, I have the flexibility to hang an acoustic blanket anywhere in the room to shape the sound. Secondly, I can easily mount room mics in my space without using any mic stands. This won't replace my desk mic boom or amp micing stand, but it will prevent me from having to set up a tall and bulky stand for this capability. I am super happy with how this project came out. From now on, recording videos are gonna go a lot faster and I can finally come up here and focus. I am due for an amp project, so while I wait for some acoustic panel components to arrive, I think I'm gonna build a head case for this amp, maybe even a speaker cabinet. So in the meantime, if you found value in this project, please hit that like button and stay tuned to follow this and other projects in my home studio. Thanks for watching.